Hi fellow on six scale figure collectors, this is me back again with another video. This time it's something a little bit different. This is the Black Warrior figure by Figure Fun. Um, it's basically it's the Celine figure from the movies Underworld. Um, the head sculpt isn't and isn't um, Kate Beckinsale, but uh, the clothing and the weaponry that comes with her is pretty damn close. So what I'll do is I'll give you a head to toe look as usual and then I'll show you her in a little bit more detail and what all the weapons and that she comes with. Yes, that is a hot toy stand I'm using. Uh, she doesn't actually come with a stand, but it's the only way you can keep her upright without her falling over. Okay, head sculpt first. So it isn't Kate Beckinsale. I am looking for uh, a head sculpt on eBay at the moment for Kate Beckinsale, and hopefully I'll be able to swap it over. So. Paint apps aren't too bad. The head is just the hair is just a solid black colour. There's no highlights or anything in it to make it stand out a bit, which is a bit of a shame. But this is a cheaper end figure. Um, it's no Hot Toys figure. I'd love to see Hot Toys bring one of these out. Um, obviously, they haven't got the rights um, off of Kate yet to actually do it. But hopefully, she'll say yes. Maybe when the next film comes out. Clothing wise, it's a sort of a leathery feel to the clothes. Underneath, she's got this um, black, really tight black cat suit that she's wearing, which is the top part there. And the leggings, it's an all in one piece. She's got this. Uh, corset or bodice type thing on which is also a leathery sort of feel to it great detail on that very impressive for a, um, a lower price figure nice intricate sort of sewing work on there and she's got like buckles if I can just spin around slightly underneath it's got like buckle effect down the side. Yes, that bit has come off. I'll have to put that on again later. Down to her boots. Nice detail on the boots. Again, leather sort of feel to them. Buckle effect on the side. On the bottom of the boots, there's um, a hole. So obviously you can put um, either a couple of little magnets on the bottom of the feet and have her on the magnetised stands that you can buy, or put a couple of little pegs into the into the uh, boots and put them onto a stand that way if you wish to do so. Long black leather jacket does restrict articulation on this figure, as you should know with most. Uh, once it's scale figures, if they've got leather type clothing, uh, it does. It is very restrictive. But I'll show you that in a bit more detail when I spin around the back. Um, what she comes with, she's got six different hands. She's got this hand here for holding the weapons, and the same again on that hand, that side. She's got a more relaxed hand. For the right side and another relaxed hand for the left side or the right side and she's got two fisted hands left and right again complete with pegs so you haven't got much of an option when it comes to hands she also comes with this shotgun and shells there's no moving parts on this shotgun it is just one solid piece um, the shells in their little holster come separately and um, what I've done is just to make it a little bit better is I've actually glued them onto the shotgun she 
it also comes with this very impressive crossbow complete with um, six little uh, seven arrows which you just place in the top so I've got three either side and one in the actual barrel itself um, it is an elastic string so you can pull it back there's no moving parts on this bow only the elastic string and um, it comes with this sight which you can actually open up as you can see there you have to place it on and it's got a little light underneath obviously that doesn't light up so you can show with that nice detail on this actually quite impressive look good with any figure even a Hot Toys one she also comes with the Death Dealer pistols I'll just take this one out of her hand down here she's got Death Dealer pistols it does cock back as you can see and this part does come off as well the um, clip doesn't come out I've lied yet again yes it does it was a bit stiff when I first tried it so I didn't think it come out but it does and there's a little bullet in the top it's just very similar to Hot Toys guns she also comes with this machine gun quite nice detail on this got a few moving parts the actual handle does fold back and the front part you can take the front part off if you wish and also the clip comes out but what's a bit different with this one that Hot Toys don't do is if I turn it upside down the actual bullets come out as well so that's a nice little touch quite a nice detail and I'll just take the sword out of her hand she also comes with this plastic sword not bad detail don't think it's movie accurate not being a licensed figure it uh, probably won't be but uh, what I've noticed with the hands is they're very open so you got a lot it, uh, there is a lot of play when you put the sword in there it does tend to wobble a bit um, it's more used for the guns I think but it does hold it in there okay but it can drop out and if I just spin around to the side down in her boot here um, not sure if this is where you put it but she's got a little knife as well dropping everything all over the place and on her hips if I just pull her coat to one side there's the other handgun, she says she comes with two of these death dealer guns, she's got hip holsters which are placed on the leg okay, if I spin around get you a look at the coat from the back quite nice detailing on this coat you see it's got all the little markings that you see on the jacket that she wears in the film so they've recreated that quite well that theme does go down the back there's no wiring in this coat so you can't pose it dramatically a bit of a shame and there's the markings again on the bottom of the coat and she's also got on the arms got little markings on the arms of the jacket up near the shoulder as well articulation wise um, it is very articulated um, but obviously the leather does restrict it if you took the jacket off you can put the arms in quite extreme poses obviously good head articulation um, so the legs are very restrictive because of this tight leather but she's got ankle articulation as well I'm sure she doesn't go on the stand very well see it is moving slightly so 
So she has got ankle articulation. Obviously knee, hips, waist, elbows, um, wrist articulation. So all in all, it's a very nice figure. Something a little bit different for me. So I'm not too happy with the head sculpt. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, Hot Toys will bring one of these out. And then I can use this figure for something else. But I'm happy with it. Glad I bought it. Bought it quite cheap on eBay from a guy in Hong Kong. I think British pounds, it's about 123 British pounds, which isn't too bad. These are very limited figures. They are selling out quite fast. So they're quite popular because it's the only real, it's the best representation of the Celine figure that's out there at the moment. So if you're looking for a Celine figure, um, this is ideal. Maybe you could swap some of the weapons out a little bit for some Hot Toys ones. But I don't think you really need to. The weapons that come with this one are quite good. Better than what you see on a lot of these low-end figures. Uh, a few more hands would be nice, so I might buy a few extra hands for this figure. Um, I think the typical... Uh, triad toys and side girl figures the hands will fit this quite nicely so I might go out and buy a few of them just to give a better grip for the sword I don't think there's been any um, reviews of this figure on YouTube. I've seen a few unboxings, but I've never really seen um, a review of it. Oh, it doesn't stand on the stand very well. So I will get a stand for this at some point. So, there you go. The Black Warrior figure from Figure Fun. This is the box she comes with. Show you around the back. See, it's got all the names of the weapons on the back there. And nothing special, box-wise. So, to my next video, which will probably be um, on Tuesday. It's uh, Wednesday today, so it'll probably be next Tuesday. That's the next day I'm off work. I just thought I'd do one on this as it arrived today. So inside the jacket, you've got like a brown velvet type effect. So that's me signing off on yet another video. Finally got 50 subscribers. Here's to the next 50. Try and get the light out there, I can see the face a lot better now, a bit more, see the colour on it. So it's not bad. So thanks for watching. Feel free to leave comments as always. Good or bad, take everything on board. And I'll catch you guys later.